This Shopify store makes $10 million per month. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how they do it and some of the insights that I've picked up from them. If you're new to the channel, welcome on over. My name is Juan Valdez and I run my own e-commerce brand and I also help other e-commerce brands scale leveraging growth infrastructures. Now, with that said, let's get right into it. So this is the store here. It's called Get Hey Shape. They're an e-commerce brand that's focused on selling women's shapewear. Now, they do also sell other products like bodysuits, dresses, swimwear, and women's essentials. However, their main flagship product is this body shaper here. Now, there's a lot of things that this brand is doing really well, but I wanted to focus on some of the highlights that stood out to me. One of the first things is their positioning. So something that they've done really well is really position their flagship product, which is the body shaper as the ultimate shapewear for your curves and that positioning is also the backbone of their overall messaging on their website social media content paid ads and more and one of the things that really stood out to me about this brand is how in tune they are with the demographic they're targeting and the messaging that they use to target that demographic. And I'll show you guys some examples of what I'm referring to in regards to that. But before we dive right in, here's a breakdown of some of the insights from SimilarWeb. You can see here that from March to May, they've had 2.6 million visitors on their website, which is absolutely insane. Now, I'm not only going based on their numbers from SimilarWeb to determine like how much revenue they're doing per month. I actually met these guys that uh, run their own e-commerce brand and they also do like similar volume and they know get hey shape and who's running the brand and so they're the ones that actually told me like hey check out this brand we know them they're doing 10 million a month and um that's actually how i even found out about the brand in the first place and ever since i've just been diving deep into the rabbit hole getting familiar with them what they're doing and um just seeing like what insights i could basically pick up from them for uh, our brand and also all the other brands that we work with and basically i just put together a lot of those insights here and i'm gonna go over all of those with you guys here shortly but right before um, one of the things I wanted to break down is how they're getting all this traffic in the first place is with paid ads right so they're leveraging organic content yes but their focus and what's driving majority of this volume is on paid ads and so here you can see a breakdown of where their ads are coming from from a paid social standpoint so you can see that majority of their paid ads are being ran on Facebook second place Instagram third place TikTok, fourth place YouTube and then last place of Pinterest this is for their paid social they're also running ads on Google and I'll show some examples of you know what that that looks like as well. Now let's dive in. The first thing I wanted to go over is their product. The reason I wanted to start off with their product is because I believe in order to do this kind of volume, you need to have a good product that actually works and that customers like. It's really hard to scale if you don't have a product that people can share on social media with their friends and family and more. And so I took some time to just go through some of their comments on their website, some of their social media comments to see what customers were saying. And these are some of the things that stood out. The first is the material quality. From what I see, the overall quality quality of their product uh, stands out compared to the rest of the competitors. Next is the design and fit. Obviously, when you're selling a shaper, it needs to, you need to make sure that the design looks really good and it also fits well, since this is something that you know people are buying for the ultimate result of having a different look right of their body. And so that's super important. The marketing approach of how they market the individual product overall is pretty unique. Like when I meant that they do a really good job at understanding the idea of demographic they're looking to target. So what I meant by that is, for example, this is their main flagship product and their main bodysuit is this one here and you can see that just the title of the bodysuit the shaper it snatched shapewear bodysuit like even from the title that they use it's very specific with the ideal demographic they want to target because right now this is like a word that so obviously they're looking to target women right and ideally women probably like ages 25 to 40 around that area from what i saw and the terminologies and the words that they're using on social media is like you know get snatched or like hey girl like you're looking snatched or just things like that right um like overall like snatched is like a word that gets thrown around a lot within females. And so everything from like how they even name their product, it's like very unique to make sure that it resonates like all the way with the demographic you're looking to target. And so um, that's one of the things I wanted to highlight about the product itself from what I saw. Other competitors are not going to this extent, at least from what I saw, right, from the few competitors that I looked up. And then last but not least, when it comes to the product, they do a pretty good job at setting up this referral program where they provide incentives for, you know, sharing their product with other people and getting more customers to purchase. So from a product standpoint, these are just some of the 
key highlights that stood out to me. Obviously, there's a lot more, but I'm mainly focused on the highlights here. Now, next, of course, again, one of the things that stands out the most is their ads in general and how they're getting all this traffic to their website and generating all these customers and sales. So again, looking at similar web, majority of their ads are being done on paid social and on Facebook. And so I took some time to look through their ads library and get familiar with the types of ads they're running, the different angles that they're using within their ads and more. And I'll, I'll basically cover those here. So first thing I noticed is that if you go to their ads library, you can see that they're trying like the amount of testing they're doing is absolutely insane. So if we scroll up, you'll see that it shows they have 2,500 ad results, which is absolutely insane. And I noticed that they're doing a variety of different video ads, different static ads, different carousel ads. So already you can see that the amount of testing that they're doing is just next level, right? It probably takes that amount of testing to be able to support that level of ad spend. And so, um, you know, just wanted to very quickly go over that. Now, diving a little bit deeper, one of the things that I noticed when it comes to their video ads is that their overall approach that they're taking is on selling this transformation that you get with their shaper. They do a really good job at this. One of the things that I noticed is that, of course, there are different types of women out there with different body types, right? And one of the things that they do is they show the process of what you look like before the shaper and then after across many different types of women, right? Different body types, different complexions, like they go very wide. Um, and you can see this like across many of their ads, right? Of course, they're currently running UGC ads, but they go even more specific like they're not just running random like UGC unboxing video ads right they're specifically running UGC ads that show specifically like the before and after of what it what you're gonna look like after you put on their shaper I'm not gonna go into every single ad in this video like because there's so many of them but obviously you can feel free to look through their ad library to kind of get familiar with what they're doing and you know get a full example of what I'm what I'm referring to here now I thought that this was obviously you know genius when they're selling shapers people want to know what the end result is going to be. And so you'll notice that again, they're taking a very strategic approach on their video ads on making sure that they're again, really highlighting this transformation that you're going to get from their shapers. So yeah, from a video ad standpoint, those are one of the key highlights that I kind of took away. Again, there are more, but I'm trying to focus on things that really stand out. So I have this here because I noticed that for the most part, they're sending people from their ads to a collection page instead of a product page. So just thought that was pretty interesting. Next, we have a breakdown of their static ads. So here provides again, another example of what I mean by they have a really good understanding of the exact demographic they're going after and their messaging is very aligned with who they're looking to target. So one of their ads that I came across is this static ad, which is leveraging a meme, which is like in the in the female community, this girl math is like a meme, you know, where they're like, they basically break down how with Hay Shape, you're actually making money because you can fit in clothes that you already have instead of buying new clothes where you would have to spend more money, right? So it's a net positive, right? And so that's how they kind of position it with this girl math meme they kind of work their product into this meme and i thought that this was absolutely genius because as we know like memes moves the world right like uh, memes go viral on social media they get crazy reach and so also a lot of people resonate with memes and so this does a very good job at you know positioning this organic uh ad well it's an ad but it comes off as an organic post because people share memes all the time right so this doesn't even feel like an ad actually but um yeah you can actually see this is an ad that they've been running for quite some time and i saw it a couple different different times also with like a couple different variations that we're trying out but I thought that this was a very well put together ad that covers uh, social proof right you can see they have the reviews as the bottom they have an offer and also it's very native right to the platform this literally looks like a meme that somebody had shared and so yeah I wanted to share that because I thought that that just like they absolutely crushed that when it comes to paid ads nowadays the most important variable is the actual creative itself right yes there's some merit to having the right ad account structure and knowing like the technicality but from my experience and what we're seeing across many different brands that we work with is that the creative is the most important variable, right? And so in order to get really good creatives like this that resonate really well with your audience, it takes time like fully understanding and knowing, you know, who you're talking to and getting familiar with the, the overall messaging on social media and finding ways to organically resonate with that messaging and the conversations that are happening on social. And so I thought this was a pretty good example here. Also notice that they're sending this ad to a collection page. Now, the next thing I wanted to go over is the running ads to to collection pages, product pages, but also they're running ads to um, advertorial or pre-sale pages. And um, this is an example here. So just to kind of show you guys a live example, in case you don't know what an advertorial is, here's an example that I came across. So you'll see here, they're running this static image ad here, right? And then this ad, you click on it, it takes you to this advertorial page, which typically these pre-sale or advertorial pages, the purpose of them is to basically pre-sell the product.
product and provide more context about it with a specific angle usually. And the angle that they're using here is why TikTok is obsessed over this new shapewear brand. And then they dive into some specifics like, hey, if it's like a dream, instant confident boost. So the purpose of this page is to pre-sell the product. And then from here, it takes you to the collection page or the product page. And obviously, you know, this is something that works at scale. You know, you have to get creative with what you're currently using to um, generate top of funnel traffic and new customers in the first place. And so um, again, everything from like, you can see that the advertorial, it's like also very, it's leveraging like a native trend, right? It's it's going over why people are talking about it on TikTok, which, you know, like people on TikTok usually share like full transparency about why things are working. And right now, TikTok has become a platform where people go there to hear other people's feedback. But um, yeah, I thought this was pretty unique, right? They're running again, a static ad to an advertorial page, and then that takes you to the collection page. And so ideally, this is a break down of what they're doing across paid social on meta right so between facebook and instagram for majority of their traffic now another thing i wanted to go over is if you look at their ads you'll notice that again they focus on using copy on their ads that again is very native to what people or females would see on their timeline so you see here like this ad says snatched shapewear if you go through and look at their the rest of their ads like you can see this say yes to your curves are you ready to look snatched there this static here says this hay shaped bodysuit is going viral on tiktok after being labeled as the best skims dupe. Dupe is like a word that is very commonly used right now within social media. And so again, the main point I wanted to drive home and like my main takeaway is once you have an understanding of who your ideal customer is, you want to basically go deep on understanding what are, what are the current social media trends and leveraging those trends and the messaging within your ads because it feels a lot more native to the platform, right? And it doesn't come off as an ad. And for me, that's one of the biggest takeaways, honestly, um, as I was kind of going through and putting all this together, I found so many examples. These are just some of the ones that I highlighted and they do the same across videos, static images, and their carousel ads. So that was, um, you know, some of the insights that I picked up from some of their paid social efforts. Now I wanted to cover paid search. So obviously they run ads on Facebook, you know, they want to make sure that they cover their grounds on Google as well, because obviously, you know, when somebody sees an ad on, on Facebook, if it's the right place, the right time, they're going to buy right from there. But then if they want to get more information, they're going to go on Google. And then if somebody wants to buy a shaper, regardless on whether they saw the ad on Facebook or not, they're going to go on Google, right? And they just want to pick where to buy from based on the options that are available. And so if you look through here, I took, you know, some insights from what they're currently doing on Google shopping ads and their Google search ads. And um, one of the things that stood out to me is they have a pretty good idea of what they're doing with their Google shopping ads. So obviously for most e-commerce brands, Google shopping is basically the most profitable and highest converting placement and type of ad that you can run on Google. Across the board, uh, for all the e-commerce brands that we work with, majority of the spend goes on Google shopping for almost all of them. And so here you can see one of the things that they're doing, and this is something that's more advanced and typically that we do, you can see that all of the competitors here, right? They all have their product photo with their product then being on an actual like person, right? But you see here, here, automatically like this is theirs and it stands out compared to every other listing because they actually don't have a product or their product with somebody wearing it they have just a product photo so automatically as somebody is scrolling through they're going to be attracted to want to find out and click on this product because it stands out all the other competitors they look almost the same there's no way to differentiate who's who but if you look at here they're the only listing that are only using the product photo and this is strategically done one of the things that we do on an ongoing basis is we take the time to analyze, okay, what are the other competitors doing from a product photo standpoint? And we look for ways to stand out, right? Whether it's positioning the product in a different angle or a different color background, or maybe like this, instead of having a photo with somebody using the product, we have just a product photo. And so um, obviously this is more advanced, but it definitely works. I've seen this work extremely well. And so, yeah, I saw this and obviously wanted to kind of share it because if you're running an e-commerce brand and you're running Google shopping ads, your Google shopping feed is the most important variable. Just like with meta ads, the most important variable is your creative when it comes to Google Shopping, your actual product listing is the most important. And so ideally, making sure that this is optimized to stand out compared to the competitors is very important. So this is something that stood out, you know, and I made a quick note of this. Now, the next thing is they are running Google search ads. For the most part, there wasn't anything there that really stood out to me. I just, you know, included this here just to kind of show off like what their current search ads are. Obviously, you know, Google plays a huge role in their overall performance. And so I wanted to kind of show you guys what it looks like when you're also running Google ads as well. Now, the next thing I wanted to cover is their email marketing. Now I'm not going to dive deep into like their full email marketing. I just wanted to go over something that stood out to me. So obviously, as you guys know, when you go on almost any website nowadays, there's a pop-up that shows up offering you some kind of like discount code to get your email. 
However, they're taking a completely different approach. They're not going after the usual get a 10 or 20% off discount code. They're actually creating this um, offer where you can actually win a free bodysuit, right? Which has a much higher perception of like a discount code, except for them, it cost them nearly nothing compared to what they generate from an email subscriber. And so I thought this was very genius from a positioning standpoint. Again, everybody's so used to seeing like the usual 10 or 20% off discount code. So they usually just click off of it. However, when they see an actual offer where they can win a free product, like it's a lot more enticing, right? And it's different. They're not used to seeing this all over. And so I had a look at what some of the other competitors are doing. Some of the other competitors are doing like the basic 10 or 20 percent off discount code you know and they're taking a completely different approach and i can see how this would work really well for them now obviously when it comes to their emails they're crushing that um i opted into their email flows to get familiar with you know what they're doing pre-purchase as well as their abandoned cart and post-purchase flows just so i can get a full idea and um i mean again one of the things that also stood out to me is their consistent messaging they're using consistent messaging across again organic social media content paid ads emails like their emails the messaging is very similar to like the ad copy messaging that we saw where they're saying things like snatched, right? And, and you know, they're leveraging these memes and these very organic and social media focused uh, messaging. And so um, I thought that that really uh, stood out. The next thing is the offer. So obviously, as you guys already know, having an offer is very important for the brand. People are usually looking for, you know, some type of reason to, to pull the trigger and actually buy right now. And so ideally, occasionally, if you have a really good offer, you want to make sure that you highlight that. And so here, this is a perfect example of how they're leveraging the summer, which currently we're in the summer right now, and they're creating an offer around the time of the year, which is very relevant. So you can see here, the current offer they're running is um, summer sale, buy one, get one. And um, this probably works well for them because for these bodysuits, and these shapers they have different colors and different styles and so ideally you know it's a you can take advantage buy one and get another one free so this i'm assuming this is working well because otherwise they wouldn't be running this offer right so that's one of the things that stood out obviously if you're not currently trying out any offers for your e-commerce brand that's probably one thing you're going to want to try out because again offers work really really well now i took the time to also break down their product page because I thought that there was a lot of things they were doing right and that really stood out to me. So I'll run through these very quickly. One of the first things that I came across is the product photos. This is the most important element of a product page. You need to have really good quality photos. This is what really sells your product. Next is they're highlighting their sale in their announcement bar. So obviously when somebody comes to their product page, they have another reminder right here, very easily to see where again, if you buy one, you get one free. At the very beginning of the page, they have social proof showing off how they have 1700 plus reviews on on this individual product so automatically you know when somebody sees that instant um, credibility right away they're offering payment installments in our current day having flexible payment options is huge size chart for clothing you know a question people usually have in their heads when they're shopping is is this going to fit me and so they very easily have this size chart available where they make it very easy for you to understand you know which size is going to be best for you next is they have this native scarcity so you can see here a lot of e-commerce brands they'll do things like say hey like we have limited stock available but they never include a reason as to why at least some brands that don't really know how to leverage like things like scarcity the right way however with them you can see that they actually give like a very valid reason as to why they would have limited stock you can see that they say that we're currently going viral on social media and have very limited stock remaining for our summer sale and so take advantage that's a very valid reason people know that if a brand goes viral they may actually not have the stock available for long right because that's what happens and so i think that this is a great example of how you can leverage a scarcity the right way and um, actually benefit from it so i wanted to very quickly cover that next thing you're going to see is a um, um, here they have their unique selling proposition badges where they highlight again what makes their product stand out here they have video social proof where they show again different females with different bodies and how the shapers fit them and what it looks like before they have it on and after i think that that's part of the reason why like you know their video testimonials stand out but also their ads because in their ads they're showing these insane transformations like like literally we're like for example this this woman here she'd put it on and then you wouldn't even be able to see like her actual like um you know her body fat it's like insane right now the next thing they uh, highlight here is their unique technology so obviously they say that they have this 360 stretch technology it just you know makes their product stand out compared to the competitors Competitors, right if they have this the technology whether it's like actual technology or not who knows but it does make their product stand out when you're reviewing the product page the next thing you'll notice again is that they have, now they have photo social proof right photo reviews that they have here in the bottom so they have three different types of reviews so first they have at the very top just like a very written you know quick positioning of their social proof then they have the video social proof and then they have the photo social proof so you can see how how hard they go on leveraging the social proof and then last they have uh, these product recommendations which this typically 
works well to get people to you know buy and add more products to their order uh, if they're also um, relative to the main product that they came in for so just something i wanted to point out so overall these are some of the main highlights that i kind of took away and some of the insights that i kind of gathered from reviewing get hay shape now obviously i wanted to just focus on like some of these core and some of the most important highlights there are other things that i went over like you know what they're doing pre-purchase what they're doing post-purchase what they're doing for retention right but i wanted to mainly focus what they were doing and what stood out to me pre-purchase like before they even get somebody to purchase and how they get somebody to come in and purchase because this is usually an area where sometimes myself and other e-commerce brands struggle with and so and so yeah i wanted to take some time to put this all together and um you know really share as much insights as i could on what i took away from hay shape again they're doing a lot of things extremely well all across you know paid social paid search um organic email marketing overall like there's a lot of things they're doing right and so there's a lot of learning lessons that i took away but also that um, you guys can take away if you took some time to get familiar with the brand so yeah i mean that's pretty much it if you're an e-commerce brand and you're looking to get help with scaling your e-commerce brand down below in the description you can actually book a call and from there we can get on a call and review what you're currently doing and see if there's any way that we can help if you guys enjoyed this video and you'd want to see more breakdowns like this let me know in the comments below and also as usual if you got any value from this video i'd appreciate if you dropped a like and subscribe to the channel with that said i'll see you guys in the next one